Hi everyone, welcome back to my mini pizza box video series. This is the second video and so today I'm going to show you how to create this little belly band and embellish the top of this mini pizza box. Here's the Spooky Night Designer Series paper. These are the geometric shapes and then if you turn it over You've got witch's hats, which we're going to use a little piece of this today. We've got this really unique um, sheet of designer paper with the tree and the moon. And we're actually going to use this piece today as well. And then we've got some little experimental science bottles, some pumpkins, and words that say Happy Halloween, Trick or Treat and cats and we do have a coordinating cat punch and you can bundle the stamp set in the cat punch and save 10 percent i'm going to start with the belly band so i want to give you those measurements i'm going to use a different sheet of designer paper so that we get a different look and um, the designer paper needs to measure two and a quarter inches by 11 inches long I'll put those measurements on the screen. They'll also be on the inspiration sheet. Let me go over to 11 inches, and I've already cut this to, to fit, okay? Now, the second thing with the belly band are score lines. So I'm gonna move my scoring tool up here, and we are going to want to score at two and a quarter inches, right there, and so I'm gonna put a little score line. I'll move this down a bit. And then we need three and a quarter inches. So I'm going to score that. And six and seven eighths. So let's get way over here. Here is six and three quarters, and I'll zoom in. That right there is six and three quarters. And I want six and seven eighths, so it's right there. So I'm gonna slide the designer paper over to six and seven eighths and score. And then I'm going to go over to seven and seven eighths. Here's seven and three quarters. This is seven and seven eighths. And I'm going to make a score line there. And then I can fold the score lines. And I'll zoom back out. And let's see. Here's one. They're hard to see because it's on this lined paper. All right, let's make sure I got them all. I think I do. All right, so once you've scored, you're gonna wanna fold those score lines. While I have the designer paper out and the stamp and trimmer, we're gonna go ahead and get this piece trimmed. I have measured this and it's two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And so I'm gonna go over here and I love this piece of paper because it's four moons and four moons going down. So you're looking at 16 moons and um, you can use these on 16 different projects. They're measuring about three by three inches. And like I said, we need to measure ours at two and three quarters. All right, because we're gonna put it on top of the box. And so there's my cutting blade right there. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut down. So now there are four moons left, and I need two and three quarters, and so I'm going to trim mine right there. So that's two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And you could actually make 16 mini pizza boxes with this one sheet of designer paper. And again, while the designer paper is out, I want to show you the witch's hat sheet of designer paper. On the other side, we've got this pattern, this geometric pattern. And so we need to cut out one hat that's going to sit on top of our owl. And so I've already taken the time to cut out this one. This is the sample right here. All right, I am going to use basic gray ink right here and the owl photopolymer stamp. So he's gonna be kind of gray. I'm just gonna make sure that I've got him inked up well. And then he's actually going to sit right on top of the branch. 
So there he is, and you can see his two little feet right there. So that's what's on the uh, designer paper. So not only was the designer paper created to get 16 projects out of it, but it's it was also designed to um, coordinate with their stamp set. So pretty awesome. All right, this is Pumpkin Pie Ink. And this right here, and let me turn it the right side. Whoops, no, that's not it. This is it, okay. So this piece here is going to be the nose. And these two little pieces right here are his feet or his claws, okay? So we're gonna ink that in paper, in, in um, pumpkin pie, I almost said paper pumpkin. And we're gonna lay it right over top of the images and we're going to stamp right there let me zoom in a little so maybe you could see a little better and now you'll see that i've got his little feet and his little his little nose or his beak okay so and when you do ink just tap lightly on your stamp pad so that you won't get this line okay all right, and the next thing we need to do is we need to stamp a trick-or-treat. And so this little sheet of pumpkin pie measures a half inch, and it is two and a quarter inches long, all right? And let me zoom back out. And now I'm going to do the trick-or-treat in black. And I'm gonna look right over this and stamp it. All right, and there's my trick or treat. We're going to use the black rhinestone jewels for the owl's eyes. And as you can see here, these jewels come in various sizes. So they'll start out small and they'll get larger as you go down the sheet. So let me pull this out. And this is for his eyes, so we want this kind of small. And so I think I'm probably gonna go with, with this, okay? So I'm gonna lift it up with my paper snips and I'm just gonna put that on his eye. I'm gonna do the same with this one. They have adhesive backing, so that's gonna make it super nice for attaching uh, to paper. Okay, we're going to start assembling our box now, and you can see I've already folded the score lines. I've put the bottom part of the box together, and um, what I want to do now is add some little Hershey Nugget bars. And what you'll want to do is just take designer paper that's one inch by three inches, and you just wrap it around the candy bar. I just use a glue dot to attach it. And so I am going to just put these in here. Um, this nugget right here, it might be the special dark chocolate um, nugget, but it matches so beautifully with the, it almost looks like Cajun craze. So um, anyway, so I, I took two different designer papers, again, one inch by three inches in strips, and then, um, I just wrap the little Hershey Nugget bars like that, okay? And so now I'm going to close this up. All right, and we're going to be ready for the belly band. And remember, we've already cut and scored. And once I put the belly band around, it will keep uh, the box closed. Now what I like to do is, I like to attach the belly band in the front because I'm going to use um, this Cajun Crease cardstock to cover up this seam, okay? And I'm going to use Snail for this, and it should stay together just fine. And again, that seam's gonna get covered up, okay? So that's the belly band, and in order to get the belly band and the top embellishment off the box, I'm going to attach the Cajun Craze scallop square only to the belly band. If I attach the square to the pizza box, I'm not able to slip the belly band off of the box and get inside. And I'm gonna use Stampin' Dimensionals here. 
All right, and let's see. I, I, don't, I think I'll actually put them on the belly band. And that way, um, I don't have a dimensional that's sitting on top of the box. Because remember, we won't be able to open it if this is attached to the top. So we're just going to peel off these. And I hope that makes sense. I love the way belly bands look, but when you're trying to open something, you want to be able to get into it without having to tear it. So I'm just going to center this. And these, um, I use the layering squares to create this Cajun craze scallop square. And I'm pretty sure I used the biggest one I did. So this is the largest scallop square that I'm using on the belly band. All right, I'm now ready to add um, my cute little owl. And I uh, have also put dimensionals on this. I can get the last one off and I'm going to attach it and I'm just going to center that on the scallop square and I noticed that I lost the little eye so let me see if I can get that eye back there it is okay and we'll set that back on there we're ready to add our little hat and this was just cut out um, you just cut out from the designer paper and you're going to notice here that I'm using a standard dimensional and I'm using one of our new mini dimensionals. So let me show you that sheet in case you haven't seen these yet. These are our mini dimensionals and you get three of these in a pack. So I'm going to attach this cute little hat on the owl. There we go. And now I'm ready to add um, this little trick or treat. And I want to use this black crochet trim. This is also in the holiday catalog. This is what it looks like. And I believe you get five yards of this. And that'll probably be part of my ribbon chair. So be, um, you know, listening for that coming up. I just applied some snail on the back. And then I'm just going to add the crochet trim. All right, just like that. Let me lift that up. All right, let's see, by using this now, it just held it on there. And now I'm just gonna trim. There we go. And now I'm going to add dimensionals to this to pop this up as well. And I think I'll use three. It'll help keep the, the crochet trim on there. All right, and again, if you're on my YouTube channel, just scroll down to the word show more and click on that. And that should give you the link to this blog post, okay? And let's see, let's do this. I'm gonna do that just like that. All right, and I do have a um, inspirational sheet to go along with this. So here are two of our um, little mini pizza boxes using belly bands and please let me know if you have any question questions head over to my blog you'll want to leave a comment because on Friday September 1 I am giving away eight mini pizza boxes thank you so much for buzzing by